What if I told you that if you open a door, you could obtain immeasurable power? That whatever you decide will become rule and you'd even be able to change the nature of other people? Let's assume that you, like me, would have the best intentions for doing so. That you would always try to do what's best for everyone. Do you think you should open the door and become ruler of the world? Should you, should be, you a be a benevolent dictator? dictator? Hello everyone, this is Wandering Tati. Welcome to Philosophy Beats, where we explore fascinating philosophical topics in five minutes or so. This time I thought it would be interesting to pose this question about moral philosophy, discuss some of my ideas and hopefully encourage a lively debate. By the way, this video was inspired by part of the plot of the manga Maggie, the Labyrinth of Magic. Let's assume for the purpose of this thought experiment that such a door exists, that should you open it would grant you the power to change people's minds and shape the world as you please. Of course, if the possibility of being opened by some mad, evil person existed, we would open prefer to bury this door in concrete and make it impossible for anyone to access it. But what if it's just you there? You are actually standing in front of this door that people believe to be just a legend. You and no one else can decide what to do with it. So what would you do? Would you open it and take that power for yourself? Would you bury it so that no one else can find it? Or do you think there's a different alternative? What do you think? What would you do? <laughs> if you would like to think about this on your own, feel free to pause the video now and let me know your thoughts in the comments. As for me, upon thorough consideration, I decided I would open it and become the ruler of the world. <laughs> But hear me out, this is my thought process. I care deeply about ethics. I think it should come from a place of careful deliberation and empathy. I want to try to do the right thing, and this is why I care so much about moral philosophy. Because I think these are not just made up scenarios. I mean, this type of thought experiments are. But the reasons behind our responses should be properly justified and they might sometimes apply to real life situations. And if anything, the mere fact about taking the time to ponder these type of problems, to decide what you would, what you should do, if that type of situation was real, it's valuable in itself. I firmly believe that it will make you a more considerate person who takes responsibility for their actions. But let's go back to the problem now. In my mind, this is kind of a trolley problem, if you will. Think about the world right now. Poverty, hunger, deep inequality, terrorism, wars, refugee crisis, environmental issues, lack of education, extreme political polarization, racism, mental health crisis, and that is just to name some of the most pressing current issues. And no, I don't think that I'm perfect, but at least I know for a fact that I want to end those problems. And if I had that kind of power, I would, I definitely would. I might make mistakes, but I will have the intention and the power to correct them. I, in fact, can only be sure that I have the best intentions, even though I might commit some involuntary errors. I cannot be certain about anyone else, really, as good as they may seem on the surface and as well as I might think I know them. So I believe it is my moral duty to take on that responsibility and be the queen of planet Earth. I simply cannot trust anyone else with the task. But I am well aware that everyone else who is outside of my head would probably disagree with this decision. I would try to the best of my abilities to listen to people with opposing views from mine, as I really would want the best for everyone. And I understand I might not have the absolute truth about every issue. I would even propose that people can present their cases for what I should use my absolute power next. And you might think that in that way I am taking away people people's freedom in some sense. As I can alter their brains for simply not wanting to do bad things, like killing other people or hoarding all the resources for themselves, for instance. 
But all in all, I think that we are all prisoners of our own brains and desires. As Schopenhauer would put it, man can do as he wills, but he cannot will what he wills. Implying that human actions are determined by motives and desires, making true freedom of the will an illusion. What I would be doing is simply eliminating some options that are detrimental to humans as a community, as the law currently does, but in a more extreme way. You would still have the same sense of free will as you have today. It just wouldn't ever occur to your brain that maybe stealing a PlayStation 5 might be a good idea. And since that thought never arises, you would not actually lose anything, because you're not depriving yourself from doing something you wanted to do in the first place. It just wouldn't occur to you that that is even a possibility, as it probably, hopefully, doesn't occur to you, for real at least, that you should murder that baby on the plane that's been crying so loudly for hours. You can still decide what career path to take, if you feel like going to the cinema today, or if you should get chocolate ice cream after dinner or not. Your life wouldn't actually change that much on a personal level, but it would globally change profoundly for the better, I think, for humanity as a whole. And I would do my best to eliminate the least amount of options from people's brains so that we can have a peaceful and fulfilling society. I understand though that this may raise some issues, because say that you eliminate murder, rape and kidnapping from people's brains, as you may deem those the worst crimes, then the worst crime may become theft and you eliminate that one too. But then at some point the next worst crime will become something like like lying. It's hard to decide where the line should be. I grant you that. But I would somehow manage, don't worry. Just accept that you live in my planet now and be grateful for it. <laughs> So those are my two cents on this scenario. I really hope you found the question captivating and I would really like to see your answers in the comments. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, until next time! And I would do my best to eliminate the least amount of people... Ugh, no. <laughs>